There is a, a, a book out recently published by an American called uh, 10 Books That Have Made the World Much Worse or something like that, and 10 more that didn't do a lot of good. Or, I, I just love that title. I wish I could remember it specifically, but I could think of hundreds of books. Uh, uh, this is for peers. I read a brief review in National Review of Angels and Demons that talked about destroying the conclave of cardinals as part of the plot. Uh, I haven't read that book, but how did you come up with an idea of wreaking havoc in the Vatican uh, after the death of John Paul II? Uh, well, I, was, I, 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 I mentioned that um, epigraph, you know, the quote at the beginning of the book from Pope Benedict's Space Salvi, but there was also a quote uh, from a, a British journalist who I used to know um, called Polly Toynbee. She's a very influential columnist in Britain, and she writes, the Pope kills millions through his reckless spreading of AIDS. Wow. And, um, because my heroine, Kate, falls in love with this ex-Jesuit and goes out to his refugee camp and gets very involved with that and has this argument with her uncle. Um, I, I was very conscious at the time of the death of Pope prior to the death of John Paul II, but a lot of liberal Catholics were really hoping for a pope who was going to change a lot of fundamental teachings, like the church's teaching on sexual morality, and particularly on AIDS in Africa, and that kind of thing. And, and, and that comes into the novel. That's very much part of the tension of the novel, is who's going to be the next pope. It's, it, I mean, as I say, there are, I didn't realize at the time of writing that there are similarities with, with um, Dan Brown's Angels and Demons. But, you know, my novel is quite grounded in, in, in reality and in the reality of the present day church. Whereas Dan Brown's, I mean, I don't want to criticize a fellow writer, but it's, it's a bit more fanciful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> okay, here's the inevitable question with a, a question similar to it that may be a little less frequently asked of you. Uh, what uh, snippet of it, snippets of advice can you offer to an aspiring young writer, and what advice can you give to a parent of an aspiring young writer? To the second. Uh, what, uh, what advice can you give to the parent of an uh, right, aspiring right. young writer? Well, well I think uh, persistence pays off, and, and uh, to read as much as possible, to write as much as possible. Um, the parent, uh, one of the things I asked my mother uh, when I was growing up, and uh, how did you allow me to do this? Because uh, they didn't really browbeat me and, uh, to take up a particular occupation, and I was uh, an artist and then a writer and all these weird things, and she says, well, you always kind of did things well, so we thought it was going to come out okay, you know, and I think you just let them go. Um, there's a, James Hillman wrote a book, uh, The Soul's Code, where he talks about if uh, the oak tree, the oak seed wants to become an oak tree, and there's almost nothing you can stop, that you can do to stop it from becoming an oak tree. Uh, where Sir Lawrence Olivier was asked about becoming an actor, and he said, if there's anything that can keep you from being an actor, let it. And <laughs> I think that's very true for writers, that. Uh, I met rejection along the way, but I, I really wanted to be a writer, so I kept at it. Um, and if a person's meant to be a writer, I think they will. And then parents just have to husband that and give them freedom. Jack Lemmon's father said, well, if it's what you really feel you have to do, then do it. So I wonder what ever happened to him. <laughs> uh, I, I, oh, yes. I would agree with Ron that, 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 that Persistence is very important, and patience. You have to be enormously patient. I would recommend for somebody who wants to be a writer to keep a journal. I mean, I don't just mean the journal saying what you did today, but to, to write down ideas that are going through your head, snippets of things from writers you're reading, what you think about the writers you're reading. It, 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 you know, the process of simply writing about your everyday life, it, it, it can help you put your thoughts into words, and form sentences, form paragraphs, and perhaps discover that you're not meant to be a writer.